Hello, everybody. This is Don Mackey from LCAT with my friends from the East Long Metal Rec Department with a special new project called Play and Learn at Home. This is a collaborative effort to help you find resources to keep your body and mind healthy, active, engaged, and curious through the very disorienting progression of coronavirus in our community and the disconnection from the places and people that we see every day. This is something for everybody, and some of the activities are geared toward kids and some of them are geared toward adults. This is our first post, and there's two parts to it. Every day we will post something interesting for you to explore through links, and then a link to a short video from me related to the Facebook post, a sort of video preview of what some of those resources have to offer, and uh, some exploration on my part um, taking off from there. Maybe it's a virtual tour, or maybe it's a walk through a quiet nature trail here in town. We're going to take this as it comes. That's sort of the nature of our circumstances now anyway, and hopefully there's some connection we can make for you to something that reminds you how it feels to wonder at the everyday and the extraordinary to feel some reassurance in the scope of human achievements. If anything, these virtual tours remind us that civilization is that which remains when we've taken everything else in our daily lives for granted. So if you go to the Rec Department Facebook page, you'll see a post from USA Today about taking virtual tours of 12 amazing museums. The links are there in the article through Google Arts and Culture. And you can choose any one of the 12 museums highlighted in the article. But if you go here to the Google Arts and Culture homepage, then you can see that there are dozens and dozens of things to explore online. So I'm going to try to keep up with Donna, Jordy, and Tim, and make a video a day, mostly jumping off from their Facebook post, but sometimes going off on my own. That's the whole point of exploration, right? So maybe it's a real place or a virtual place. And if you don't want to join me, wherever I go, jump on over to the Rec Department Facebook page or just go exploring on your own. It's important to find ways to get out, get exercise, stay engaged, and stay connected to the places we live. Just do it with genuine concern for your proximity to other people, to whom or from whom you can unknowingly spread the virus. All right, with that out of the way, I'm going to go to Google Arts and Culture, and up in the search box, I'm going to type in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and there it is. So I'm going to click, and the Met page will open up. And if I scroll down, there's uh, a number of online exhibits. So I can click on any one of these particular exhibits. Here's one on Johannes Vermeer. So I click on Vermeer, and there's some information about Vermeer, and you can see, then you can click on the individual images. And here's a really nice thing. When you click on an individual image, there's a magnifying glass, and you click on that magnifying glass, and then you can use your scroll wheel on your mouse, uh, and you can scroll in and out and really get a close-up look, something you can never do if you're at the actual museum because the guards never let you get that close to any of these works. Um, so that's kind of a nice feature. Uh, it will also give you the option to look at that in Street View, and you're all familiar with Google Street View. Well, uh, down below you'll see uh, the Metropolitan Museum has two uh, options for street views, and it basically allows you to navigate through the museum. 
the way you would navigate through a neighborhood in Street View on Google Maps. It's just astonishing. Uh, the resolution of, of the individual works in Street View leaves a little bit to be desired, and you can't click on that image uh, and then see details about it, uh, except you notice down below there's a line of images uh, in, in many of the galleries. I don't know that it's every gallery, but in many of the galleries, there's a, a particular work of art that you can click on. And that sort of allows you to toggle back and forth between street view and a close-up view, and it gives then detailed information about that object or painting or, or whatever it is. But all in all, this is, this is a really cool experience. Um, I've spent uh, my life going to the Metropolitan Museum. My first trip, I was a junior in high school. Uh, I went many times uh, when I was in college um, because I went to art school and then following college had a lot of friends who lived in the city. Um, so the Metropolitan is one of the great collections in the world, uh, just amazing things to see. So one of my favorite uh, areas, it's hard to say that, but in the Metropolitan is the collection of musical instruments. So I'm going to jump down here uh, to this row, and you can see I can pick out a particular object. Uh, it will give me uh, those silver timpani. I can look at those, I can read the information about them, then I can jump over to Street View. And that street view will then allow me to click through all the uh, galleries in the musical instrument collection at the Metropolitan Museum. And I can pause, you can look at the cases. Again, the, the resolution is not, is not great, um, but it certainly gives you a feel for what the collection is like and some of the amazing, amazing instruments uh, that are collected here. So. That's um, a sort of overview of how to navigate. I suggest that you uh, explore, and I'm going to take a break here for a minute, and then when I come back, I'm going to uh, sort of click through and find uh, a handful of things in the Metropolitan Museum that are of particular interest uh, to me for a number of reasons, and talk about those, and then... Um, That'll be my virtual tour of the Metropolitan Museum uh, to kick off this project with the folks at East Long Meadow Rec. Uh, and again, I'd encourage you, if you're still with me at this point uh, and you don't feel like tagging along for my own personal tour, uh, jump over to the website, East Long Meadow Rec, and uh, check out some of the other cool stuff that's going on. Uh, again, all of it intended to uh, keep you happy, engaged, and uh, mindful that this will pass and uh, we are lucky to live in an amazing world and an amazing culture uh, and with an amazing history. So, all right, I'll be back shortly. <laughs>